right, guys. So we got some aluminum TIG action going on here. This is a 2004 Arctic Cat Snow Pro C1000, I think, something like that. F1000, I don't know. But uh, the track's off. We split the drive shaft to get the track off because it threw about four or five studs off the track and put it through the heat exchange. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. So it's a pretty good gash. So I'm going to fill it with a piece of uh, round stock aluminum. And uh, first things first, we're going to heat it up, clean it good, get it up to temp. And then we're going to use this uh, Precision TIG 225 by Lincoln. Uh, set at about 150 amps on AC, no pulse, on auto, pulse low around four seconds. And so I'll set it up and then I'll show you guys how we weld it up. All right, so I got all my safety equipment in place. We got a, this uh, hoisted up on a rope pulley system with a brake in. It's tied off to the wall or a joist over here. And uh, we got the piece of two inch steel to uh, jack this up just in case that fails. Got my safety glasses. One thing I have is a aluminum only stainless steel wire brush. And that's all you could use to clean out this aluminum. So it doesn't like stainless steel. So it doesn't contaminate the aluminum. You want to keep the ground kind of close. So I'll just get a spot for the ground. As you can see, we got a penetration here and one up here. I'm going to fill those first, and I'm going to put my uh, rod in there. Uh, solid stock aluminum. how we got it we got it it's, it's created we got the brown stock that was cleaned also placed in there and I'm gonna tack the bottom and then tack the top and then weld it up on both sides we started out at 150 amps and we ended up at 180 I got the pedal down there and I use the back of my knee when I'm sitting on the ground to actuate it and so I'll show you my weld I'm going to weld it in. So here we go. Take the bottom first, take the top. So here it is, all welded up now, up on the top, down there, pretty good.
Yeah. <laughs>